What's up you guys, thanks for checking back in with Aussies on the Move where we're still here loving this island life in Puerto Rico. We're hanging out here in Añasco. I know we've talked about our water situation a couple times, so I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of our uh, our rainwater catching system real quick. You know what I mean? We've got the slanted roof and we got a gutter running all the way along here. There's a, I call it a secondary filter even though it's the first one in line. It's a screen filter to catch like the initial wave of debris. Uh, and then we've got other filters that you're gonna see here in a second. So it starts catching there, and it runs along this pipe, comes down. This is what's called a, uh, a wastewater system. So the first little bit of uh, a few gallons that run off of this roof are trapped down here, and then there's like a relief hose at the bottom. But anyway, some of the dirt and sediment from the roof and whatnot gets caught in this main pipe, and then once it's full, it spills over here into the tank. We've got a 200 gallon tank here when it gets full, there's like a uh, dump off, kind of runs out here. Got a couple filters here. I know we need a third one to have it uh, drinking water safe, but I'm not gonna lie, I've drank water out of here. I didn't get sick, nothing happened to me. In a pinch, I mean, we use it, you know, for brushing our teeth, maybe making some coffee or boiling some water. Uh, but other than that, we, we've been buying a lot of water. Okay, so we got this electric pump here, half horsepower pump, pumps up to the bladder. Then goes down these pipes, hits the filters around here, and it leads downstairs to where it can feed the entire house. That tank over there, basically just extra like emergency water. It's when we run out up here, Gilbert will get down there, he'll fill the buckets, I'll stay up here, and then I'll pull the buckets up and I'll pour them into the reservoir. Now this system here, 200 gallons, I mean, it's pretty big and it's pretty sufficient, especially when we can use the emergency water downstairs. However, so since it's the dry season, uh, it's only raining maybe once or twice a week here, uh, and it's not for very long. We don't get a whole lot of water, so we've been using a lot of money going to buy clean water for drinking, cooking, you know, et cetera. Sometimes we don't get to shower uh, if it's not raining, so either that or we'll, uh, we'll bounce over to the airport and we'll use the shower there. We just rented a uh, motel room for eight hours. Uh, it cost us 30 bucks. The main reason we came here was to shower and get clean. However, we are rolling out of here with a bunch of water. We filled up our jugs. We're just, uh, we're doing what we have to do. We're always trying to stay as resourceful as possible. So while we're running the AC, we've got a five gallon bucket here. We carry that over to the system over there and we dump it in. Got another air conditioning unit over here. As you see, we've got the same setup going. There's multiple drip points. So we've got gallons over here. And that water uh, that we catch in these small gallons, that's for doing dishes, you know, simple small things to where we don't need to activate that electric pump and we can try and save some of the main water that's in that 200 gallon tank. Usually in a day, we can get uh, maybe maybe 10 to 15 gallons if we're lucky, but that's only if we're running the uh, the air conditioning constantly, which racks up the power bill. So uh, it's kind of like a lesser of evils type situation. This system isn't really built for so many people. We are adding to it, uh, but we're a family of five and it, it's kind of stressing the system out. It does cost a lot of money keeping this going, buying the buying the fresh water when we run out. Uh, during the wet season, it won't be a problem, but right now it is getting a little tricky. So that's our water system. That's how we operate. That's how we uh, flush the toilet, take showers, do dishes. Uh, that's how we handle life here in Puerto Rico. If you feel like donating, uh, we've got PayPal, we've got Cash App. Uh, I'll put the info on the screen here in the description. Uh, any help is always appreciated. I mean, even if you guys can spare $1, I mean, it's about a dollar a gallon for fresh water here. So if you feel like helping us out, we truly appreciate it. We like making the videos and showing you what life's like here. So uh, please help us keep it going and stay tuned for the next video. We're loving it here and, and we're gonna make it work. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a good one.